Jessica Xavier. Is that the correct last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. close. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to be performing for the big NXNE festival. Could you tell us your thoughts on an event like NXNE for artists to display their talent? Yeah, I mean, it's such a great opportunity. It's similar to Canadian Music Week where you get to, you know, have events and connect with people and get to play at venues and have people come out and get excited. And it's a great opportunity to showcase, you know, who you are and, you know, get some new fans and, and experience all that. And, and it's super fun. Yeah. Um, I've I've done Canadian Music Week a bunch. It's my first time doing an X&E and um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it goes and, and meet some new people. Okay, so there are a lot of artists from different parts of the world. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, uh, right from. here in the city, uh, born and raised. Uh, my family also has a farm just outside of the city. So that's kind of where I grew up between there and here. Just Yeah. So how did you become a part of this event? Um, I mean... I had some artist friends that were doing it, reaching out saying, hey, we're doing this festival, you should apply. Mm -hmm. and, um, just seen it all over social media and I decided to, you know, play it this year, have some fun and, and see how, what what comes of it. Okay. So which day are you performing and what could people expect when they come out to see you? Yeah, I'll be performing on Friday the 16th uh, at the Cameron House at 11 p.m. Um, you expect to see country music, some some big tunes that you guys will know, and my tunes. I like to mix um, yeah. some oh. country classics with my own tunes, just so that, like, if you don't know my music, there's still something in the song, in the set that you might know, and you can get introduced to my music as well, and kind of my whole style. And it's going to be a fun, full band show, and it's it's pretty high energy. It's it's always fun, and I'm excited for yeah. you to see it. Okay, so how would you describe your your sound? Yeah, I mean, I'd say I'm I'm country rockish, country pop. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of uh, my own artistry in a commercial sound, yeah. and um, I really try and bring in my influences of like Bruce Springsteen and John Mellencamp and kind of retro tunes like that because that's what I grew up on and what I love. So I always yeah. try to incorporate some of that into my show. Okay. So what's your process when you're making your music? Do you have any routines? Yeah, I mean, I think every song is different in their own way. Yeah. Um, I find my most creative and, you know, my favorite way to write music is I get an idea, I'll write it down and kind of over the next few days, write down other ideas that kind of go along with that and how I can build a story from my first idea. Um, and then once I find some time to sit down with a guitar or a piano or something, I'll try and, you know, write out what I'm thinking. And sometimes they'll come out fast, sometimes they'll come out slow. But I think that's my favorite way to write. Or, you yeah. know, if I'm struggling to write something by myself, um, I'll bring an idea to like a songwriter's room and like with some other artists or some writers and we'll sit there and I'll be like, this is my idea. How can we turn this into a song? And and I also do a lot of that. So like co-writing and, and going into rooms with other writers and finding ideas there. Um, it's kind of a mix of both, but yeah. you know, they're both fun and I both, I love writing. So it's, it's always fun to create something from an idea. Okay. So do you have any routines that you do before you perform live as well? Not really. I mean, I just try and relax, <laughs> just warm yeah. up. I always do a really good vocal warm up. My band and I just, you know, go over sets, go over songs and and just, you know, make sure we got everything ready. And then we'll just do a big group hug and just a cheer and then we'll go on. And there's not much that goes on before. I just try and relax and, and not think about it as much. And then I get up there and I just, uh, you know, trust, trust that I've practiced enough and trust that I know the music and I'll just go up there and have fun. Okay. So you mentioned some of your favorite artists earlier. What, who do you consider to be your top five? Um, definitely Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp, Taylor Swift, for sure. You know, a lot of young girls like me, like in our early 20s, mid 20s, we love Taylor Swift. We grew up on that kind of style of writing and music. Yeah. So I always have to. Yeah, when I, yeah when I listen to your, your music video, I watched yeah. it. I got that vibe. Perfect. Yeah. yeah Taylor exactly. Swift. Love her. Um, a lot of like the metal bands from the 80s I love, like Cinderella. It's a great band. Yeah. They put an album called Heartbreak Station, which inspired me a lot. 
um, more like newer artists would be like Lainey Wilson. She's really great. Uh, Kelsey Ballerini and, and that kind of realm of music. L King is super cool as well. So I get inspiration from all those kind of artists. Okay. So do you have any other events planned for later this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm on tour all summer. I'll be playing all around Ontario uh, pretty much every weekend. You can find me somewhere new. Um, I'll be playing in Caledon next weekend uh, after NXNE. Um, but it's all posted on my social media where you can find it. It's just Jessica Sevier. Um, and lots of stuff coming up, just lots of shows, lots of, you know, fun things with music and recording yeah. some new stuff, writing. Uh, but I'll be around all over Ontario this summer. So if people want to follow me and find that out, uh, it's all over my social media. So are there any singles out there that you want the people to check out? Yeah, so I just put out my song Legends of the Summer. Um, it's probably one of my favorite projects I've put out and it's super true to who I am. I love it so much. So if you guys want to really see who I am, my style, everything like that, Legends of the Summer is the perfect song to do that to introduce you to who I am. Okay. Are there any other lasting words that you want to leave the audience? Um, I just hope that my music inspires anyone in any way. Uh, you know, you can relate to it. You can use it to comfort yourself. You can use it to pump yourself up. But I, I hope that you get something out of the music if you listen and enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, then I'm sorry. But um, I think there's something in it for everyone. And if anyone has a chance to check it out, they totally should. And let me know what you think.